This is 49E, and this will be our last lecture for today. Again, mortals are equal. It is not birth, but virtue alone that makes the difference. And in class, later today and tomorrow, we're going to view a documentary called The Abolitionists. William Wilberforce is not so much mentioned in the documentary we're going to experience. Uh, he is big in England, and he is a tremendously devoted Christ follower who follows after Jesus with abandon. And Jesus calls him to end the slave trade in England, and he does that without a war and 60 to 70 years before America does it. William Wilberforce, a force for sure, and he had to really fight with all of his heart and soul um, for the cause. It was not popular. He had many enemies. Uh, the song Amazing Grace comes from uh, someone who swept the floors in the church where he went, who had been a slave trader. And also there is a movie called Amazing Grace that documents the William Wilberforce experience. Note number two to write down is that uh, in 1807, British Parliament passed a law ending the involvement in the slave trade. The U.S. made the same law in 1808, but didn't enforce it. France in 1814 and the Netherlands in 1817 and Spain in 1845. And this is William Wilberforce's quote to Congress. Let us not despair. It is a blessed cause and success ere long will crown our exertions. Never, never will we desist till we have wiped away this scandal from the Christian name, released ourselves from the load of guilt under which we at present labor and extinguish every trace of this bloody traffic of which our posterity, looking back to the history of these enlightened times, will scarce believe that it has been suffered to exist so long a disgrace and dishonor to this country. Eloquent. And uh, did they put their money where their mouth was? They did. Number three, British, the British Navy paid to enforce the end of the slave trade. Sadly, illegal trade continued for years. The HMS Brisk is capturing the slave ship Emanuela in this drawing. All right. It's taking it over and arresting them for illegally, greedily transporting slaves. The British committed 25 ships and 3,000 men to patrol the coast of Africa. Between 1808 and 1860, the West African squadron captured 1,600 slave ships and freed 150,000 African people. Number four, 1804 AD, slavery ended in Haiti when their independence was established. Number five, slavery was banned in the British Empire in 1833, in the U.S. in 1865, and Brazil in 1888. Number six, economic, political, and social troubles did remain for some former slaves for years to come. Seven, the 19th century, that's the 1800s, abolitionist movement ended reliance on slavery and the slave trade and set the stage for later equality movements in the 1900s. 